So now we want to go back and we want to refactor our CC user data class a little bit in order to complete the second half of this challenge. So what we want to do is we want to replace, if we go to ccuser.m, all of these keys, so username, email, password, with a define so that we're sure that we're always using the same key to add consistency to our code and make there, make there less of a chance that we have an error in our code. So we're going to go to ccuserdata.m and we're going to type define and we can type in user underscore name and we'll write at username after. We're going to add another define and we'll call this user email and we do email and we're going to do another define user um, password and we can do password and we're going to do define, we're going to say user age, we can simply say age, and we'll do define user profile picture, and we can do um, profile picture. So what we're now going to do is we're going to go refactor the ccuserdata.m file so that each key uses one of our defines that we set up. And every time the computer program sees username, it's gonna replace it with the string username. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna go ahead and remove username here. We're gonna type in username in. We're gonna remove email. We can type user email in instead. And we can do password. So we can do user password. And we're gonna do age, so we'll do user age. And we're going to do profile picture. So we're going to do user profile picture. And next we're going to do our second user. So we can do user name and email. So we'll do user email. And we'll do the password. So we can do user password. And the age, user age. And the profile picture. And on to our third user here. So let's go ahead and do user name. And we can do user email. And we'll do user password next. And we'll do user age. And we can do user profile picture. And let's do our last user. So we can do user name. And we'll do user email. And we can do user password. And we'll do user age. And we can do user profile picture last. Great, now we're gonna be able to use this different syntax. And let's go ahead and run our computer application. We already have our NS log set up properly. We're going to have to refactor that in just a minute. But we see now that everything is still printing out the same, even though we've changed it to using defines instead. Now let's go back to our ccviewcontrol.m file, or .h file, and let's create a property. And we're going to do not strong non-atomic, and we can call this users. It's going to be a type NS array. And let's go into ccviewcontroller.m and do a little bit of refactoring as well. So instead of simply creating a local variable here, we can say self.users is equal to our um, class method users on our CC users data class. And that returns an array. So we set a value for our property self.users. And let's print this out and confirm again that we haven't changed the data. We're just now holding it as a property so that the user's array is accessible to all methods inside of the ccviewcontroller.m class. And we'll be using this property later on. So what we're trying to highlight with each time we've made these changes and done some refactoring is that it's often a great way to tackle a problem by doing what you know how to do and then adding incremental steps or making small changes. And once you're sure that that works and moving forward and trying new things.